Are you using astrology to help guide your life? Well, there might be a key factor that you're missing. And I'll share with you my own personal experience and the most important lesson I learned about using astrology and how to use it to empower your life. So when I first discovered astrology, I was mesmerized. It was amazing. Everything was making sense. I felt so validated. I understood why I was the way I am. And it just opened up this entire world. And for me, because of my personality type, I dove right in. I was ready to learn as much as I could about astrology and to also use it in my day-to-day -day life. So as I continued my studies and I started to learn more, I found that there were specific times when, you know, you should take certain actions and, and times when maybe you should hold off. And, and, I, and I was navigating that. It was, it was kind of unusual for me. It was something that I'd never really considered a whole lot before. But I was new, I was inspired, and, and I was really, you know, open to trying something new. But over time, what I found was I found myself becoming really anxious and even rigid in life. And over time, I really found myself actually getting very resentful about astrology. And this woke me up because I didn't understand what was going on. How could this thing that I loved so much at the beginning be completely different now? Well, this is what led me to the most important lesson about astrology. It does not serve you to give your power away to astrology. That's the biggest lesson. I was giving my power away. I was avoiding situations and activities because of what was written in the text. Because, oh, Saturn or the moon was in a specific section that day. So I would avoid living my fullest expression of life. So since I knew that astrology did have some value, especially for me, I realized that astrology is very two-dimensional when you use it verbatim. It's actually better used with your intuition. And this is when I realized that astrology and yoga and meditation actually go hand in hand. They work really well together. Because yes, maybe in the text, this isn't the best day to do a specific activity. However, when you blend this with your yoga practice or with a meditation practice, your intuition wakes up. You become inspired and you realize that just because astrology says that something shouldn't be done on a certain day, when you have intuition, when you have clarity and inspiration, that's what's your true empowerment. This is what your guidance system is, your intuition, your inner wisdom. This is where the power of astrology can turn into empowerment. So if you'd like to learn a little more about your personal astrology, check out the link in the description and be sure to subscribe.